All right, guys. So in this lab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to add an indicator like light. So me, what I mean by indicator light, it means like you're going to press the start button, motor's going to turn on, and the light's going to come on. So kind of like it's running, motor's running, you know, a green light, motor running. Okay. You can also do one that uh, has it, you know, a, an off. Like so, maybe it has a red light when that's off, depending on what you want. But right now, we're we're just trying to do an indicator. Um, when the motor's running. So we're gonna go back to a typical motor control. So you're gonna build this first, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a light in parallel with our motor. So we're gonna probably just bring down a branch here, put a rung, and uh, we're gonna throw in a light. We can just draw it like that, go over, and we can just put, we'll just do green. Oops, not very written very well. And then the wire numbers are gonna be five and three. So, or five here, three here, okay? Now, um, I've seen this quite a bit. People will try to put the motor and the light in series, meaning one right after the next. It will not work. So if you uh, you start, you put this together and you have some problems, um, that might be one of the things you look at, okay? Um, notice that the five, the number five, or wire number five here, is also wire number five here, so they are connected. A lot of times what I would recommend is you actually plug two wires into the terminal going into your motor control and have the one wire flip around and go into your light, which is actually the way I did mine. So um, otherwise, this should be a very simple circuit for you. All we're really doing is adding that indicator light in there. Um, go ahead and let's go ahead and wire that up. I'm gonna take you over to my trainer right now and I'm gonna show you how it looks when it's done. All right, so the correct operation for this lab is that if you, when you press the start button, the contactor is pulled in and a green light turns on we are and we are not using the um the contacts that are inside of our uh, motor control here we are actually using the control circuit to turn this light on um just so you guys know again when we hit the stop button turns it off if we hit the start with the e-stop it'll turn it off start breaker kill it um and also our our overload will kill the whole circuit, okay? So, should not be anything new or that crazy. We are literally just adding one green light to show when the uh, the circuit is running, okay? So, go ahead and get started with that. Make sure you guys submit a video explaining how the circuit works for me, okay? Good luck.